don't want to be awake. It's almost 9.30 and I don't want to be up. Just finished washing my face with this uh, nighttime deep cleansing, deep cleaning face wash, the clean and clear nighttime. There, you can get a better view of it. But that is what it is. And I really like it, even though it is for like nighttime use. I like it because it smells really good. But we're gonna get the day started. Wash my face. I'm going to go on downstairs and get some breakfast and kind of wake up. It's going for 9.30, so I have to get my day started. It is now 9.52, and I just finished getting ready. Here's a little sneak peek of what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing my Coca-Cola Coca shirt. <laughs> I'm going to fix my hair. <laughs> Let's like, can if I could do that again in slow motion, I I just might do that again in slow motion. So if I do, here it is. But good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. We made it to Friday. It is a uh, Cinco de Mayo today. It is May fifth, Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo to all. We made it through the first week of a new month i feel like this week kind of went by really slow that might be just because it is the beginning of a new month um but the first week is over tomorrow's saturday this weekend's supposed to be beautiful going into next week it's supposed to be in the 70s and there is the other one perfect so jewelry is done i'm trying to debate if i want to wear one of my necklaces and i think i'm going to i'm gonna put one of my necklaces on but first i'm gonna just put my regular watch on today i kind of i like to do this give my tracker a little bit of a break i don't know if you can see that but i put it <laughs> upside down this is a common mistake that i'll do i'll put this on upside down so let's see if i can can i do it right can I do this the right way? Let's see how many attempts it takes for me to put a watch on. Because I've already put it on upside down like four times. I did it! I don't know if you can see that, but I did put it on. I put it on. I put it on the right way. Fifth time's the charm. Okay, it is 10.34, I got my water, I got my outfit on, hat, and I'm out for a nice walk because it is absolutely gorgeous out right now. Wearing my K necklace today. The necklace is actually reversible, so you can have the K, which is the initial, or there's a heart on the other side. I wore that yesterday, it was just as cute. Home sweet home. It is almost 12.30. I just got word that my book has come in. I requested the book, um, Dog Gone. I watched the movie on Netflix. When I found out it was a book, I said, oh yes, I definitely need to read this because the movie itself was really, really good. If you have not seen that movie, it's Netflix original and it's a really, really sweet movie. I would recommend it. Anyways, before I do that, I obviously am importing footage and going to edit this and get it up, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an update, kind of like how, just how therapy has been going. So it's been a few months since I saw Sarah. If any of you remember one of my last vlogs talking about the therapy, I... Um, it was, I had to stop it because it was only temporary therapy, meaning it was only, um, 
going to last for a short period. It was kind of like a stepping stone is what she called it to get me in the start of therapy to kind of just see what see what triggers I have to see why I need therapy pretty much. That being said, I saw I saw Sarah from September 15th to let's see like March March something. I only saw her for several months, but let me tell you, it was definitely beneficial and I've been trying to get in contact with other therapists so that I can start a long-term, seeing a long-term therapist. However, my problem, my problem is, um, my, my insurance. My insurance is the biggest issue. My insurance only covers, um, covers all, all of what I need. My vision, dental, and medical. So my prescriptions, my doctor visits, all of that stuff it covers. That being said, um, I've been referred to multiple places and I either, I keep touching my necklace, I'm sorry, I do this with jewelry all the time, but I either don't get any calls back from the people that I contact myself or they don't accept my insurance and that is the most difficult. So I have, however, been keeping it in contact with my current therapist as well as just my doctor's office in general to, to try to get other resources and I do have another one that I'm going to try next week. Considering it's Friday, I kind of don't want to be up the wazoo to people and just be that annoying person. That being said, that is how that is going right now. I'm hoping and really crossing my fingers that I can find somebody because I, I really do think in the beginning when I did start seeing the person through my doctor's office, it was very, very beneficial. It definitely opened up a bunch of emotions and just a bunch of doors that I personally did not know that were there because I, I used to keep things so bottled up. But now that I've come accustomed to therapy, it's definitely made a huge difference. And, you know, I'm excited to see where this long-term therapy comes in. If I can find somebody, like I said, that is the most difficult thing right now is I've gone back and forth, made multiple phone calls, and I always think I'm going to have some leeway, but I, it ends up not happening, which is the saddest thing. Because then I have to, but it, so then, because then it's like, you have to start from the beginning again, and it's, it's frustrating. But, I do have this other resource that I'm going to try, like I said, I'm keeping in contact with my previous therapist, as well as just my doctor's office, to try to get other resources and see how that goes. So I will keep you guys updated on that. Right now, I am um, doing some updates on my YouTube channels. Just the um, profile photos, I feel like it's in, it's time for a change. I do that every once in a while. With my other social media, I don't do it. With my Instagram and my Facebook, I don't change the pictures. I am not one to change pictures all the time. Um, so I, I keep them for a while, but with my, my other social media, Facebook and Instagram, I just leave the pictures as they are. I don't change them. Believe me, I used to do it all the time when I first got into Facebook and Instagram. I used to do it all the time. And now, I, I just don't. Oh, the picture looks all, I'll show you. This picture looks all pixelated. I don't know. If you can tell that on camera on the screen, but it does. It looks all pix like pixelated too close up. So I'm gonna cancel this. But here's what the the previous photo looked like when I first got my hair cut back in December. I believe it was like December or January. So it's been a while. So I'm going to not worry about this. Oh, I also changed it on my live to log too. 
which if any of you guys are not following me on my Live to Vlog Facebook page, please go on ahead and do so. I post there as often as I can, as often as I do on YouTube, and it's pretty much the, sa the same thing as YouTube. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna save this image, and it's pretty much the same image, just with a filter on it, and not as pixelated looking. I'm gonna see if, hello? First of all, I'm gonna see if I can set you up properly. Okay, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna try this again, and just say black, to save the picture. That was on a tangent, but I mean, I might delete that clip. <laughs> but, um, I'm, like I said, doing a million things. So let's uh, close this and redo. Okay, I deleted that last clip, but this picture looks way better. So I'm going to save this one as the new profile photo for both for the uh, personal channel. I'm going to just move it around a little bit. It looks good. Okay, there. That is way better. Now it's a brand new one, so I can go back to my main channel. Oh, let me publish it first. Hold on. Publish. So yesterday, I think I made my hairstylist's day. I made her a charm bracelet just as a thank you for being super, super sweet and super fun when she cuts my hair. When you go in there, I think it's like a warm and fun atmosphere, which I think is always important when you're going somewhere to have a good service done. That's my opinion. I like going in there. They're really, really fun. Everybody gets along really well. It's really fun. That being said, I made her a charm bracelet yesterday afternoon and then gave it to her yesterday afternoon as well. And she actually, she was speechless. She gave me a hug and everything and said, oh my gosh, you didn't have to do that. 